Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm on a return of Cader Idris today, which uh, is in southern Snowdonia. Really excited about this one. Um, I'm doing it from the kind of western side, which is the pony path, um, just a different route. I've done the Miniford path before. Um, I'm, I'm starting here at the um, uh, sort of car park point. Got to walk up sort of through the forest and other bits up onto that ridge. And then that's the first peak there, which I think is a false summit. I think that's called the saddle, which is like um, like a sheer cliff face, which looks pretty cool. And then Penny Gadir is the true summit, which I believe is there. I think, oh, that might be another false summit, but I think it's around there. So looking at that, it's quite a lot of ascent to do. Um, I'll just show you the map. That's the main summit there, Penny Gadir. Um, you drive through Dog Eklai and you park here at uh, Tinamp, somewhere like that. And then the pony path follows up and across, and then the saddles here, main peaks there. So that's the plan. See you in a bit. Right, I've just chewed off a couple of K. Um, just amazing panorama already. That over there is the highest peak in southern Snowdonia, 900 and something. Can't pronounce the name, it's Aaron something. <coughs> Can't pronounce the second pit. Um, look at this. Starting to cloud over a bit. Oh, and there's the false summit there, I think. So, I think it's about a three hour ascent, two hours back down. 725 metre ascent, so fairly respectable. Um, I drove up from Bristol this morning, got up a bit late, watched a film last night, and then stayed up late, couldn't get up in the morning. Four, four and a half hour drive. So I'm going against what I always do, and I'm starting late. I'm starting at um, quarter to three in the afternoon. So I'm gonna aim to summit it about six. Be back down about half eight. Gives me an hour to play with for the light. Um, so not ideal, and it's baking hot now. So I've gone against what I always do, but so hopefully it'll be okay. And um, I'll take another bit of footage when we get up towards the ridge, um, because the view should open up. But already really spectacular. So. Uh, there's a great view of the whole of the massif here. That's over towards the summit. And then the ridge line. And that's the end of it there. I think it's a chain of nine mountains. Beautiful view. Bit of cloud cover now, which is quite welcome. It was really hot. Going up there, so stupid to go up in the hottest part of the day, three, four o'clock. But I just couldn't, I, it was impossible with my daughter's birthday. Um, my daughter's birthday um, yesterday. And so it was just impossible to come up last night. So uh, here we are. If I was proper, I would have got up at 5 a.m., wouldn't I, and started at nine. But. I'm not, <laughs> as you probably have gathered by my videos. I am the average Joe that just tries to do lots of active outdoor stuff to the best of my very limited ability. <laughs> so, um, golf has been the theme of the month, playing really well, so enjoying that. Kept me running up, which is good. So, Things are sort of fairly positive, but um, I think this, oh, I'm gonna find this challenging, I think. Just because I haven't done uh, like a, a proper sort of climb for quite a while now. Done some Brecon Beacons walks, but they haven't been sort of very high, long ascents. So, um, you know, this walk by no means is technically challenging. I think it's one of the easier routes up here, but um, yeah, just base. I haven't, I haven't done it for a little while. So personally, it will be 
a little bit of a challenge, but nevertheless enjoyable. Right, let's catch the next bit. Right, just got up onto the main ridge. I've got up onto the ridge on uh, in 45 minutes, um, which I'm pretty happy about actually. So on the main ridge, I've just crossed a, um, a stile. I was corrected by one of my friends for um, mispronouncing it as sty, because a sty is a pig sty, isn't it? Or a sty is a swelling of the eyelid, otherwise known in more medical terminology is a myobium cyst or a chalazion, which effectively is sort of a blocked small lacrimal gland in the lid that swells and it'll often go away on its own just with the application of heat packs. Uh, so a little bit of not eyelid knowledge there for you. Now, I don't know about you, I obviously check the weather in a lot of detail before coming out, but this all looks in that's towards central Snowdonia. This all looks pretty thunderstormy, doesn't it? And it's just the right at the time of day for thunderstorms. That's why when proper climbers they do an alpine start at 5 a.m., uh, so they come off the mountain before the thunderstorms kick in. I didn't do that. 5 a.m. I was in Bristol. So if it thunders, um, I'm going to make uh, what's called a no duff decision, which um, I went uh, on a Brecon Beacons hike with this mountain leader, or ML as the uh, jargon is apparently, who um, a very nice chap called Lee. He'd done like, I think he'd done Everest and um, Lotsey as well, I think, and uh, Mount McKinley done loads amazing guy um, and he said in World War Two they had something called no duff which is when somebody just says a command and you just follow it instantly do not pass go do not collect 200 pound so if there's any hint of that I'm making a no duff call and I'm gonna get the hell off here but would we'll just replace the word hell with the F word but I'm trying to keep my YouTube videos clean. Right, the saddle is up towards there. Um, and I'm gonna try and get up to there. See you in a bit. It's looking a bit gloomy. But this is the view out to sea. That's Barmouth down there. Quite a lot of heat haze, so you can't really see that well. But there's a stiff breeze coming off the sea, so I'm hoping that it's going to push all of that cloud into the central Snowdonia. Um, because we're right on the edge, obviously. You know, there's the sea over there, so hopefully, if there are any thunderstorms, it will hit the central mountains. But Hey, what though, I'm not going to start late again ever. No, that's really not a good idea. I don't take that one as a good thing to do. Right, got a long old slog now up here. See in a sec. Pretty never ending this path, this bit. That's um, Craig Coy, I think it's called. And that's the coal between that one and Penny Gadir. That's the route I did last time, uh, Miniford Path. And I finally can see the summit. That's where the two paths join. I can finally see the summit. So, you can tell by my breathing that I was right, that I hadn't done a decent ascent for a while. And then, um, definitely kicking in there so I think it's sort of 
flattish until there and then it's sort of got a bit of sting in the tail at the end so yeah I'll catch you in a sec oh my goodness look at this wow that was worth it That's the saddle. Amazing. God, that looks really bad in the centre. I mean, it look completely clear and then that really does look like thunderstorm territory. I've still got a fair bit of climb to do. I'm going to pick up the pace. But it's beautiful. I wanted to go to the saddle, but I'm going to stick with my old principle of just getting straight to the summit and no messing around at least when I'm up there I can then choose what I want to do that's the plan oh wow beautiful great koi it's the summit path and uh Look at that. Awesome. That was the worst bit getting up onto that saddle. But look at this weather. That is like Thunderstorm City. So I'm almost there. I've just got to press on. I've just got to get on that summit and then get down. But at the moment, where I am, it's nice. Just passed a nice group who gave me some chocolate raisins to help me get to the top. And um, I said that they were the nicest chocolate raisins I've ever had. Although I think that it might have been situational. So that's quite funny. Okay. I'm going to try and go for the last push now up to the top. There you go, just made the summit. Well, that's a great feeling. That's such a good view. I didn't have this last time because of the cloud. This is, this is what it's supposed to look like. God, that feels so good. Amazing view of the saddle. Mountain bikers, it's mad and they've got up here. Oh. Summit shelter. Wow, that's really good. Really pleased with that. Let's see what time it is. I've done that in I'm trying to think quarter quarter two what's it quarter three quarter four quarter five one hour forty five minutes. I'm ecstatic with that. That's going to be a. Um, that means I can get back within four hours rather than five. So I'm going to try and push on and go for that. Let's see in a bit. Just making my way up the saddle. Pretty cool um, cliff face. Just going to come away from the edge a bit. Actually, it's bloody steep down there. Cool. Right, I'll catch you on the summit of this. Um, I can't pronounce the name of this um, this part of the massif in Welsh, but it's the OS map has got in brackets the saddle afterwards, so I'll stick with that. Wow, look at this.
amazing. I wonder, I guess people have climbed up that, rock climbed it. Pretty impressive. See you in a bit. Wow. Oh. Hey there. Bought the sticks today because some of the you know long ascent is is helpful. Okay. Wow. Here I am. Summit shelter. <clears throat> Amazing view of Barmouth and the sea. It's not the highest point, but wow, what a viewpoint. What a viewpoint, incredible. It's one of the coolest places I've been actually. Amazing. Such a sheer face. Completely just sheer drop down onto that lake. I mean, I can't really scree as well. I can't really go out any further onto that. It looks pretty dangerous unless you've got a rope. But, wow, what a view. Cool. Right, so I'm going to um, walk back down to the pony path and um, I might chill up here for a bit and then get down. See you in a sec. So to get a bit more footage in of this saddle, this is so cool. Clearing up a bit actually. That's where I've come up from. Yeah, it's definitely one of the best places I've been. This this particular part of this kind of massive, it's amazing. Right, definitely going to get home now. See you in a bit. Just descending through this boulder field, not particularly easy. In hindsight, I would have gone back off the saddle and rejoined the pony path. But there's a sort of vague path mapped out by these cairns that comes off the sort of back of it um, and rejoins the main path. But yeah, in hindsight, I would have gone back on the normal path. I don't like going downhill. It's just hard on the knees and generally unpleasant. Um, look at this. Cleared up a bit. Nice view of the estuary. Yeah, lovely. But amazing day. Really, really had good fun. See you in a sec. Just taking some of the lovely view in on the descent. So um, a little bit of sort of scree and stuff here. It's steep in some places. Yeah, um, that really paid off actually. Um, I'd advise that get to the summit first. Just get to the summit, and then if you have to get down, fair enough, you've done it. And then, you know, get your secondary objectives in afterwards. That's where I've come off there. So, um, secondary objectives, get, you know, do those afterwards. Um, because, any, you know, by then anything else is a bonus. And I had a bit of a second wind, managed to get that second summit in, so that was great. Um, but it's more like, um, you know, what you don't want to do is do the secondary objectives and then run out of energy or, you know, um, weather changes or something so that's my advice anyway cool okay ok 
catch you on the next bit. Right, so done, all done. What a day. That was incredible. That, just absolutely incredible. Um, about five minutes away now from the car park. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible. Just really enjoyed that. Really good route as well. Great views and I, I think the views are actually, it's easier than the Miniford path. Um, forgive my pronunciation. Um, but it's, it's, um, the views are far better, far better. Uh, and you can include the saddle. Um, that was wicked, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it was on my own as well. It's on my own. Um, and which way am I going? Can't remember. I think it's this way. Uh, no, this way. Definitely don't want to go the wrong direction. I'm tired now. Um, yeah, nice view of the farmhouse and you can see the summits actually. One of them there on the main ridge. Yeah, this is on, on my own. Um, that's just the way it panned out. I'm hopefully uh, going out with a friend tomorrow. I'm up here for a week or so, maybe five days, depending on how I get on. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was on my own today, but um, it's okay, enjoyed it, yeah. Better to do it on your own than not do it at all. Um, I can just see my car now. I haven't paid for the parking because I didn't have any change, so hopefully I haven't got a ticket. But if I have, I'm so happy after that walk, I don't care, I'll just pay it. There you go. That's, um, just put me stuff down. Saddle and then um, Penny Gadir. Still nice and clear up there, so quite a long way. Um, not sure what the time I did that in actually. Bear with me a sec. Just get the phone out. Where is he? There he is. So, just interested. 1811. Four. So three hours and a half. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow, I'm I'm ecstatic with that. Three and a half hours, and it, the board says to it to do it in five hours, and I included the that extra summit as well. So yeah, wow, that's pretty good. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, look forward to tomorrow, and um, hopefully we can um, uh, go and do another hike. See you in a bit.